Hey there, alligators. So normally I wait until Christmas Eve to decorate the tree, but we did it a little early this year, mainly because I'm growing this baby who's growing away. But we just decided, well, I decided that I didn't want to wait this year. And Alex over there cuddling with the cat. The little cutie pies. Oh, they're just precious, Max and Leo. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to, this week, go through all of my ornaments because as we were putting them up, I realized that a lot of them came from places that have really good memories. So I just wanted to go through part of everything with Christmas is that it is about tradition and things go, I mean, the only reason we know certain things about Mary, like the Immaculate Conception and the fact that she and Joseph never consummated the marriage and different pieces of what plays into what makes like Jesus who he is and what makes Mary who she is and all of these pieces is through tradition. It's through that oral tradition of people telling stories and sharing that through the generations. And a lot of my ornaments actually come from my parents or they were gifts to us or just different things. So I thought that it could be kind of fun to go through where they all came from. So we can start at the top. I'll try to do this. All the twinkling lights, look at them. So here we have there are a few of this style on the tree. They are uh, crystal. They're Astoria crystal. So that was a, that one up there was a snowflake and then you have a tree. There's one down here that's a wreath. Those all came from my Aunt Coraline's house. So my Aunt Coraline has Alzheimer's. My grandma Thompson passed away from Alzheimer's as well. And so we went down and helped transition her over to a facility, an assisted living facility. And we got quite a few of her decorations, actually. The Merry Christmas came from her there. The reindeer, the snowman did not, don't know where that came from. But, um, but yeah, there were just a few items that we got to bring home with us and keep her with us in our day-to-day -day deal. So those Astoria crystal ones are there. This Christmas one as well. It just has a bunch of, it's a hand-painted children's toy type ornament that also came from her as well as this one here. It's a little heavy ball. Might be hard to kind of see the design, but this one's just more of a ornate ornate one. So all of those are pretty special just because my Aunt Coraline is very, um, she's very smart. She's gotten a couple PhDs and she's someone that I look up to and respect and who has always encouraged me to go back to school and to keep furthering my education because it's so important for women to do that. So that is just something that I don't know, I, I look up to and hope to be, you know, educated and successful in life like she was. So Moving on, we have our Hogwarts Railroad. That was from our honeymoon, of course, from Orlando. That was a lot of fun. We chose that one to bring home. Up here, you'll see three kittens and a mitten. <laughs> Growing up, that one was one of my favorites to put on the tree. We had certain ones that we took turns putting on, but that was one that I always did. My brother has one that um, that was a viper that had Santa and his reindeer going. Looks like Alex choosing to go to bed now. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty late, <laughs> but I wanted to touch base because we got to do this today. So this little angel here, the little green angel, I do not know who gave this to me. When I was probably Gosh, I don't even know how old I was, but it was a secret Santa present at the family Christmas and it went under the tree and it said, um, and it, it said from secret Santa and no one told me who it was actually from. So I don't know who gave this one to me, but I put it up every year and just remember that sometimes it's good to stay anonymous because we all know. <laughs> Alec was teasing me. I like to be recognized for things that I do, but whoever gave this to me didn't mind. 
I have these little balls, like just like the standard ornament balls all around the tree here too. Those came from Goodwill. Those ones don't have much of a story other than when I had my first house and had my first tree, I got those. This little guy here, this was the 2011, I can't really get it to focus, but this was the 2011 White House ornament. It was the official ornament of the White House. It says, I hear there are some kids in the White House this year and it was, um, it was remembering Teddy Roosevelt, President Roosevelt. And my aunt was the President General of the Daughters of the American Revolution at, I believe it was during that year, must have been. And so she sent us that from DC. So that was nice to receive. And we have, we got married obviously New Year's Eve of 2016. So we got several of these. This is Mr. and Mrs. 2016. Uh, we have that one. We have Mr. and Mrs. 2016 with a little snowman. It says 2016 there too. That's hanging there. And we had also received a, here it is, Believe All is Possible, which was also 2016. So those were our three that we received as gifts when we initially got married and celebrate that. We have this one, little, little teddy bears on the logs. That one came from my parents' house. They had some homemade ornaments that they were just trying to get rid of. So it was a handmade from who knows when, but Another handmade one, though, is this little penguin guy. <laughs> Only I made that one. That one's not a mystery. <laughs> it's a little walnut or a acorn head with a walnut body and some felt. I don't know. I was pretty young when I made this one. But we have a couple doves symbolizing peace. Both of those came from my parents' house as well. Little angel. This was given to me by a lady who was a friend of my grandma's. And she was, she didn't have any children. I don't know if she had ever been married or not, but she just, you know, when I was young, we used to go to McDonald's or Burger King and get a soda and do all these different things that were just fun. They were bonding. We would go to the park together and play and whatever else. And so one, one Christmas, she gave me that little angel and I've kept that with me. Um, her name was Gail and uh, she's still around. She still calls my grandma and I got to chat with her a little bit the other day. So that's, um, that's another little fun one there. And that might be, oh, I have one other one, actually. Oh no, two more. I have my Chelsea one. So this is from when Alec and I lived over on the east side of the state. And then I have the little penguins, little his and her penguins, but that was one that I bought. So um, yeah, just cute little ornaments. I think that's all of them. We use a Santa hat <laughs> as the star because we don't have a star. And this year, um, Alec doesn't actually have a stocking. And so we decided to just do an upside down Santa hat and elf at hat for our stockings for now because they work. We don't need another one at this point, but yes. So those are all of my ornaments, all of our ornaments that we have, and all of them, I carry a special meaning in my heart, and it's so fun to be able to pull them out and just remember where they're from, and I look forward to sharing those stories with our children when we get to gather around and build the tree together and all of those types of things, and I'm happy to share them with all of you now, too. And if you have any special ornaments or traditions that you have around the holidays, I'd love to hear about them, obviously. Always love hearing from you guys. And we'll just get to share in the fullness of what this holiday offers with the tradition of families and telling the stories and keeping everybody in unity. So God bless you all. We have little Alistair here who wants to say goodbye. So everybody have a Merry Christmas. If you want to send me pictures of your tree on Instagram, it's over at My Catholic Perspective on Instagram. So I'd love to see those too. Take care and God bless. Until next time, we'll see you later, alligator. Ow.